Dan understood all about the tr a tree's structure, its texture, its color, its form, um, how well it did in different situations, how hardy it was. What Dan looked at, I think we all followed this, is that the structure of the plant, whether it's a, a magnolia with the big leaves, there's a texture there that's a heavier texture as compared to, say, a eucalyptus that has a lighter foliage on it and a different structure and so on. So these structures and the textures and even the tones of green were very important in the size that they would get. And I think that happens so often with Dan, getting the right tree in the right location. It happened on the Art Institute South Garden, the central part of the garden where the boss of trees are, which are Washington hawthorns. Washington hawthorn in Chicago is probably one of the hardiest trees. It'll take just about any exposure. It's long lived, the root system seems to work in a very small area. And as it develops, it changes its form because it opens up the top and spreads across. And that was perfect to form this bower that he described in a letter to the client one day about why he wanted that particular tree there. And he was so right. This was 30 years, 40 years before it developed into what it turned out to be now. So it was the right tree in the right, in the right place. But any tree, when you think about it, it's not just a tree. If you draw a plant and say, well, let's do a row of trees here. It's the right tree in the right location because of its habit, how it's going to develop over time because that's that fourth dimension that, w that is going to change everything, which it did with the hawthorn trees. Uh, a tree's going to go taller and so on. And like in Oakland, Dan knew what he wanted to do with trees. And when the rest of it just evolved out of that, the rest of the planting shrubs and ground cover. And once that was established, we could really make the spaces that wanted to be made. And I think that was the way that Dan saw things. He saw them as much architecturally as, as landscape. I think that was a feature. So as landscape architects, we really have to think about not just how it looks now, but how it's going to look later. And uh, Dan had that ability.